Hi everybody, Michelle Rover here, and this is the first in my series of three videos, each totaling 20 minutes, for navigating the holidays. So I'm gonna get started right now with the food because I know that that's everyone's favorite topic and it's mostly what people worry about, what to bring, what to eat, all of that. So real quick, um, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you my absolute staples, the things that I cannot do without, whether it's every day here in the kitchen or um, if it's you know entertaining for clients or for family or going to some place for the holiday for a party or something. So the first thing that I can't do without is, where is it? Oh gosh, I got everything out here. Well, let me just tell you what it is. It's coconut oil. Can't do without it, okay? Organic, unrefined coconut oil. And it is by far the best oil that I have ever cooked with. There are so many qualities to this oil that are antibacterial, nutritious, and has medium chain fatty acids, which means that your body wants to use that fat to restore cells and to heal the body rather than store it. So metabolically, it is a different fat, but I'm not gonna get too much into the science here because I know that you wanna get into the choices. Okay, so we have the, oh, here it is. We have um, coconut oil, okay? The next thing I can't do without is coconut mana. And coconut mana is the um, inside of the coconut. So it's like cocoa butter, coconut oil, the, the coconut pulp that's right out of the inside of the coconut. And most people are like, well, what do you do with this? And let me just show you one of the favorite things that I love to do with it. So I just take a spoon and it's a little hard, okay, like kind of pasty, like the paste in school we used to eat when we were little, if you're as old as I am. Mm. So, so good. It's so, it's so delicious. It's unbelievable. So I use this for my smoothies. I put it in um, all kinds of recipes that where it calls for coconut or calls for um, pureed soaked cashews. This is another book I can't do without, Everyday Detox. It's written by Megan Gilmore. And she her philosophy is, she used to be a junk food junkie, but and not in very good health. And now she's a babe and she's um, you know fit. And she has kind of some of the same insecurities that we all do about, oh, do I look fat or do I look this or do I look that? But her goal is to make her way to dessert and to really enjoy the food that she eats. So she's one of my favorite food babes. Okay, she's amazing. Food divas. So in, in this book, okay, it has all the stuff that I have here on my counter. So these are staples that I can't do without. And in part of where I get these is, well, one, I'll shop at like TJ Maxx or something because they have a, um, a really good organic section that I can get some good deals on. Obviously, I always want to support my local health food store, so I shop there, especially for produce. But if I'm talking staples like these, which tend to be a little bit more expensive, I go to Thrive Market. So that's T-H-R-I-V-E, thrivemarket.com. Thrive Market I have the link right here for you. Um, go there, join. It's $59 for the year. You don't have to join if you don't want to, but if you do, you get superb discounts, uh, wholesale prices. They're always expanding their inventory. They have an incredible mission um, to help uh, low-income families to eat organic and to eat more healthy whole foods. They don't have, uh, yet, they don't have fresh produce, but they have all kinds of nuts and baking goods and coconut oil and coconut mana and coconut milk and all of that. And, Organic shredded coconut. So back to my staple. So Thrive Market is a resource for you. This is another staple I can't do without. Raw organic cacao powder. So what is the difference between cacao and cocoa? Well, the difference is, is that the cacao is less refined than the cocoa. Okay, and let's see. They're not genetically modified, never been hybridized, and if they're organic, and if it's this particular company, which is sunfood.com, okay, they cold press, okay, and then, which means that it's not heat treated, which is really, really important. So if we're looking at the, like, unrefined coconut oil, that means that it hasn't been heat treated. Really important, because that heat damages the fat. Now, I get it. We have to cook 
with fat. But if you're going to cook with coconut oil, that's a, that's a pretty sturdy fat. It takes more to break that fat down. And so we're about sautés, we're not about deep fries, or we're about uh, raw, which is sounds bad, but it's really, really easy and really, really delicious. I'll talk to you about that later. But um, another staple, olive oil, I can't do without ever, ever, ever. Okay, because again, we can use that for um, a light saute or for dressings, marinades, that kind of thing. Make sure it's organic. Make sure it's cold pressed. We don't want it chemically extracted. We don't want to use chemical solvents to get that fat out of those beautiful olives. No, we want cold pressed. Okay, another staple is um, balsamic vinegar. This I happen to get organic fig balsamic vinegar because it has a little bit more depth of flavor and I love to use it for different marinades and sauces that I get. Um, you cannot do without 100% pure organic maple syrup. Um, maple syrup does have different flavor, naturally occurring flavors depending upon what kind of maple tree they get it from. Did not know that. So you can um, do a little taste testing if you want, but if you're like me, um, I love it all <laughs> because it's sweet and it's delicious and it's straight from nature. And um, up in the area that I live, lots of people do their own maple sugaring. And so I get, um, I either buy from them or, you know, I've been really lucky. People have given it to me as gifts. So that's really cool. So another staple that I can't do without are raw, whole, organic cashews. Why can't I do without these? Well, if you are not eating dairy, okay, if you are, that's fine, and if you can tolerate it, but more and more people are less tolerant of dairy due to um, different processes and really mostly what the cows are eating and how they are raised or treated with antibiotics and different hormones and stuff like that. So we want to reduce our exposure to that, but if you are eating dairy, that's great. Um, if you can tolerate, if you're not, raw cashews, um, they fit the bill for um, a dairy substitute in the way that you can make cashew cheese. It sounds horrible, it's delicious. And it's so darn easy to make. All you do is you soak these cashews for an hour and a half, two hours, all right? So they just sit on the counter, go around, I do other things, or I prep a little bit more food, then I drain them, and depending upon what I'm gonna do, in this everyday detox recipe, they have lemon bars, raw lemon bars. The ingredients are coconut, raw cashews, lemon juice, maple syrup, a little bit, a little bit of stevia, and um, some ground walnuts or almonds. No joke. These things are so delicious. They're perfect to bring to a party, but I will never be without these because I can do cheese, I can do a dessert, I can do a cheesecake, um, I can do anything with these. I can throw them into a stir fry, a vegetable or chicken stir fry with pea pods and a little bit of tamari. Um, another cool thing that I like to do is if I find, if I find a dressing, um, you know, like Annie's Organics are really good. So if I find a, a cool flavored dressing that I like, like this one is shiitake sesame. Okay, so Annie's Organic shiitake sesame. This, I can do some shredded cabbage. Like people are like, what do you do with cabbage? Well, you can take some cabbage, right? And you just quickly shred it. You toss it in the pan with some coconut oil, okay? I usually put a little bit of chili powder, a little bit of garlic salt, a little bit of pepper, and then I'll lightly saute it. Maybe I'll throw in a few cashews or some pumpkin seeds or some sunflower seeds or some silvered almonds. Um, I'll do some prepped veggies like um, some sliced red pepper that I already have prepared. And I'll just run that around the pan a little bit and then I'll toss that dressing on. It is so delicious. It is like absolutely amazing and it's so easy and it's so good for you. This is another cool staple that I have, which is organic shredded carrots. If you have a food processor, it's awesome, but lots of times, you know, you're like not in the mood to like do all the carrots and to do all this and clean out the food processor. So I'm all about making sure that you have consistency and consistency of choices is what I mean. And so if you can make it easy for yourself, okay, by buying shredded carrots and buying your staples in bulk and having them all there and have what I call add-ins because I'm a food assembler, like in the words of JJ Virgin, I am not like this awesomely gourmet cook at all. I am busy. I'm a glammy. I have two little glam kids. I have glam Jack son and glam Mary daughter. <laughs> and, you know, I have five sisters. I have a boyfriend. I have 
um, a business that has two aspects to it. So I do a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. I do so luminous radio. I do all kinds of stuff that I absolutely love. But you know what? Health is my career, but it's also my priority. It's my priority for myself, for my family, and for you. So I want to bring you the latest and the greatest that I have, your lab rat, right? I'm your lab rat. I have tested out for you. Okay, another staple, unsweetened coconut milk. This is by um, the company So, So Delicious. So unsweetened coconut milk, they have coconut um, ice cream, or not ice cream, but um, coconut ice milk or whatever it's called, and coconut yogurt, um, but unsweetened, really, really important. Use this in my smoothies, you can make a curry sauce out of it. So, so delicious. Okay. What do we have for another staple? We already have the, oh, chia seeds. Here's the deal, okay? Make a chocolate chia seed pudding, okay? Here's how you do it. You get your blender. Well, I have a neutral bullet, and I swear by it, because it pulverizes food, and you get to um, uh, experience all the fiber of the food, so you're using the whole food rather than extracting just the liquid or the juice out of it. So you, you take a, a half a cup of chia seeds. You take a cup and a half of coconut milk. Okay, you take three heaping tablespoons of raw cacao powder. Okay, I take two big tablespoons of maple syrup or raw organic honey, another staple, okay, absolutely necessary. And then I'll take one or two packets of Truvia organic stevia. I like Truvia because it is less bitter and it's made from um, the finer parts of the stevia leaf which is really, really important. So lots of these things call for a ton of honey and a ton of maple syrup. I usually cut down on the maple syrup or the honey um, by like a third. Um, that way I still get the consistency that I need from whatever I'm making and I have the natural sweet flavor. And then I bring in the stevia for a, that added dimension of sweetness without um, the added simple carbohydrate. So that's my little trick. So um, back to the recipe, coconut milk, raw cacao powder, um, a ha about a half cup of chia seeds, okay, the Truvia, the honey or the maple syrup. You put it in your blender. I'll add, um, always add coconut mana, which I just had, now I can't find. <laughs> oh, here it is. So I'll add um, a tablespoon or two of coconut mana and it makes it extra smooth and creamy. So then I just burr, I blend it all up. I might throw in a few frozen blueberries or blackberries or some red raspberries. Um, the other day I made it with pomegranate. But anyway, you put it in the blender and then you put it, you pour it out in little cups um, and then you put it in the refrigerator and it sets in five minutes and it tastes like pudding. It is like, it's so good for you. People always ask, what is a chia seed? I always say, remember those Chia Pets they used to advertise? <laughs> well, um, that Chia Pet, like, you know, that little plant that would grow um, on, those, on those things that they used to sell on TV. Well, these are the seeds um, from it. But I'm going to tell you that they are so ultra-nutritious, an edible seed. It comes from the desert plant Salvia Hispanica, and it's grown in Mexico, um, Aztec, and Mayan um, territory territories. And it has um, a good amount of fiber, so six grams for one tablespoon serving. Okay, so six grams of fiber and only six grams of carbohydrate and three grams of protein. So my point is, is that this is super nutritious, but the characteristic of the chia seed that allows it to make the pudding is that when it's exposed to liquid, it has this gelatinous substance on the outside of it that's a thickening agent like gelatin. And... Um, it just makes a pudding that you will absolutely die for. So coconut milk, coconut mana, chia seeds, raw cacao powder, your sweetener, in the blender, pour it into little cups. Then I'll take some pomegranate seeds or some fresh raspberries. I'll take some um, unsweetened sh shredded organic coconut. I'll get some organic chocolate. I'll shave a little bit of that on. I might drizzle a little bit of maple syrup, a little bit um, of sea salt. That salt um, just like brings out that contrast and the sweetness. That is a dessert that will look so beautiful for the holidays, especially with um, the pomegranate on it. And pomegranates are in season. They're cheap um, up here in uh, Mount Washington Valley, New Hampshire. It's a tourist community. And what that means is, is that everything's double price. Yeah. 
food is so darn expensive. I mean, it's like, it's almost like living on Hawaii and, and shopping in the supermarkets there. It's like, it's, it's just, it's stupid expensive. But these weren't, they were two for four bucks. And there's a lot of nutritious, see every single one of these little seeds